Today, Biscuit and I, there's Biscuit, we're going to go for a hike on the trail that I carved. He's never been on a hike before. So we'll see how he does. Plus, this is the only time, this is the first time I have, uh, see there's the house back there. Actually going for a hike on the trail, hiking trail. I said I was gonna make a hiking trail. Come on. And a hiking trail I made. The dog is wrapping himself around me. It's a puppy. So we're gonna go through this area over here. And uh I'm gonna get back to nature. The clouds and the fog have finally burned off today. It's supposed to be 80 degrees, and I'm like, yeah, I'm right, it's not gonna be 80. But it is spring, April 1st. And I figured, hey, if I'm gonna make a hiking trail, nature trail, then I may as well use it instead of just work on it. So here, biscuit, my go. Let's go. What? This is the furthest from the house that he has ever been. Come on. Hopefully he won't get a bright idea to try to do this by himself. But a lady at church yesterday she has lots of acreage, and see, she said that she goes on hikes with her dog. And I said, what a great idea. Now this is where you get your cardio, because it's straight up. But we'll get up to the ridge there and walk along the area. But. It's a beautiful day out. Okay, we're coming to the top of the hill from way down there. The rest of it's flat. Which way should we go, Biscuit? Right or left? Oh, we'll go this way. Yesterday I tried to carve some more trails into what my hunting buddy said was the hollow, but I never found the hollow. I was going through all of this mountain laurel and mushing trees down in, uh, in my path with the grapple. Got to keep the dog on a short leash in case there's any slithery things out. I don't feel like taking him to the vet. Come on. There's a lot of dead wood in here. It needs to be cleaned up. Uh, but that's kind of what you find in woods, right? I'm not trying to make it a city park. But I would like to find that area to where I can make it a little bit longer of a trail. If I trusted him, I'd let him go, but I do not trust him. And I surely do not feel like hunting for him. We only have 43 acres, but everybody around us has hundreds of acres and God knows where he would go. There's Bon Air up in the hill. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, let's go.
This should wear the dog out. I know it's a, probably a mile or two. His, hang, his tongue is hanging low, but we did discover the western side of the property, which I had no clue where it went. And I'm gonna get some white PVC steaks. I wonder how they would taste now. Should you serve your white PVC steaks medium rare or medium? Dad joke alert, okay. Um, and I'm gonna have a surveyor come out and, or my buddy who's used to do surveying, put them every 50 feet, about three feet up. So that way I have a clue as to where the boundary lines. It's always good to know where your property starts and uh, ends and where somebody else's starts and ends. So that's what I'm gonna do. We are now coming to the end of our hike. This might be a, a good morning thing to do with the dog. It'll teach him to walk on a leash, trying to get him to heal. Oh, I feel another dad joke coming on. Uh, I guess heel means go to the heel, not to the toe. And if he doesn't heal, do you take the heel and put it up the dog's butt? Yeah, probably not. Here we are. Heading back to the house. Well, that was nice. Let's do that again one day. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to follow our journey.